Welcome to the Harnessing Happiness podcast. This is the Happy Clappy Soundbite. Hello and welcome to your Happy Clappy Harnessing Happiness Soundbite episode with myself, Sarah J. Naylor. Thank you so much for dropping by. I really want to touch on the subject of curiosity. This sort of sprung to mind, well, I say sprung to mind recently, not so much recently, really. It's something that I've talked about for many, many years, but I guess I was reminded of when I was recording um, a guest episode just recently about the power of curiosity and how important it is to encourage that within ourselves, but within, you know, our younger generation and those to come as well. Because when we apply curiosity to any given subject or the way we're feeling, the way we're being, the way we're acting, our behaviour, our responses, life in general, you name it, you apply curiosity to it. You know, it's about exploring stuff. It's about what you find as a result. It's what what happens as you go on that journey of curiosity. I'll bring it um, to date with a sort of an example. Personally, I've not been very well and um, it really knocked me for six to be perfectly honest. I'm a very high energy person but I I found myself wrapped up on the sofa for best part of three days um, in a blanket and cold and shivery and shaky not being able to concentrate on things and it's just anyway without going into the ins and outs of it all basically I wasn't really very well and really frustrated because it's knocked my energy levels for six as well. Now, this is on the back of having had some physical injuries as well just recently, um, brought on by sort of a change of running style, which is all good in the long run, but it's, you know, it's been aggravated or aggravating, I should say, um, in the meantime. So I sort of started to take stock and I thought, what is it about these ailments? What, why are these things happening to me? Why are they stopping me? Because... The thing is, the, the, the body will generate physical ailments to send alerts to you to say, I think it's time you did something different. And and I think this is exactly the point in case. So I was really examining, you know, what do I need to do? I need to stop doing quite so much. Now, I'm somebody that has this high energy and I've got used to over the years doing lots of different things, you know, and having multiple things going on at the same time. I've got my recruitment business, I've got my podcast, I've got a YouTube channel, I'm writing books and I'm recruiting, I'm coaching. <laughs> I've just got lots of things, I've got a digital course and, you know, I love it. And that is my overdone strength. You know, I, I love doing so much stuff. But at the same time, last year, I then took on even more stuff um, in terms of a, a, an accelerator program and learning about passive income streams and things like that on top of all of the things I've just mentioned. And I had to pull myself back from that last uh, November. But I think, you know, having been poorly just recently and applying curiosity to the situation was that I'm still doing things that I don't need to do. But what is it that I actually do want to do? So what is it I can sort of you know, pull back on and just go with the flow, just allow things to evolve? And one of the things that really sort of struck out for me was the, the volume of time that social media takes up because I felt compelled when I've got things to promote and talk about. It's suggested to you or you're told that you need to be doing this, that and the other. So you've got Instagram, you've got Facebook, you've got LinkedIn. And, oh, have you done reels? Oh, no, I don't know how to do reels. I'm trying to learn to do reels. Well, you need to use Canva graphics. You need to do this. And you just get bombarded by all of these things that in inverted commas you should be doing. But it's, you know, if you love doing it, that's great. And everybody's different and there's elements of it all that I absolutely love doing. I, I really enjoy the creative side of getting onto Canva. I enjoy writing copy for posts and I love sharing. I love interacting. I love all of the elements. But actually, is it really serving me right now? Because I have got a recruitment business to run and I've got my podcast to record and it's where my energy is best, which is 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 
doing things like I'm doing right now. So what do I need to do to spend more time doing the things that I love doing, which is, as I said, recording my podcast, it's going out running, it's going swimming, it's cycling, it's doing active stuff, it's being in nature, along with the elements of work that need to be done to generate an income. And I love working with my coaching clients. Do I really need to be doing all the social media around everything? I don't think I necessarily do because other things can happen if you just let them go. So that's my thought on a most recent example of, of, of being curious. But I also like to encourage people to apply curiosity to children in their lives in terms of what it is they love doing. Because, you know, if we all start to be curious and we start to think about what we love doing from an early age, and that's encouraged because there'll always be a career aligned with our talents and our passion so if we we're curious about oh, I love being I love, I love playing football where can I go how can I get you know my son was in a football team he's not ended up going down that route but I've encouraged him because he's always been interested in skateboarding and sport and he's now got his own skate, skate clothing brand that he's developed because he's he's passionate about it he's really interested in doing it but if you can encourage that curiosity in children from an early age to explore what it is that they do enjoy doing and what careers potentially there might be out there then they can potentially then also align their studies with what it is that they enjoy doing and more importantly gain some work experience at an appropriate age or whatever age really because if some if a child's really interested in nature going out to nature reserves going out to you know anything that is nature related that's you know aligned with you know what your child's interest is it, this I could go on forever but I like to keep these episodes quite short <laughs> but I think you get my drift it's just rather than shutting somebody down it's exploring what it is that that could mean to them it's nice open questions well what do you like about this what makes you enjoy it how would you like to experience it or where would you like to go what would you like to do who would you like to do it with how can we make that happen it's all these rich open questions that curiosity itself brings about and when you start to think about it children are naturally curious beings they are always asking the question why which I know having been a parent myself can be very frustrating because you actually don't have all the answers <laughs> however obviously um, you know it's not necessary for you to know the answers but it's an opportunity for you to discover the answers with children or for suggesting very how can they find the answers these days obviously we've got the power of the internet which was a uh, which is a much easier way of discovering things for ourselves than it ever was when I was a child because growing up we didn't have that opportunity. It was a case of going to the library and trying to hunt books out that might have the answers or the solutions. Um, obviously, if the parents hadn't <laughs> got the answers or the solutions. Oh, you know, it's just, it's exploring. It's being curious and it's a great mindset to have, you know, across all walks of life. Even if it's something like, well, you know, I'd like to do such and such. Well, be curious. Where can you do it? How can you do it? Who do you know that might be able to help you do it? Or, you know, it's just applying that natural curiosity to life and seeing where it takes you because it's it's interesting life isn't it <laughs> and actually if you're curious about something and it's something that turns out to fire you up and that makes you a happier person well isn't that just blooming brilliant anyway that's enough of me rattling on about curiosity <laughs> i hope it's uh, made you curious and um, thank you for listening and please do rate review subscribe follow whatever it is you do from your platform and uh, until next time thank you for being a fabulous listener take care and all the best from me goodbye that was the happy clappy soundbite hear full-length episodes of the harnessing happiness podcast released every tuesday and for more exclusive content from sarah just visit sarahjnaylor.com